This card is actually one that illustrates one of the things I love most about being a demonstrator, and that is that Stampin' Up! has these amazing ideas for us, and when we get together for big events, like on stage, which is our big um, convention, we get to do projects. Like, they make projects for us, and we get to make them and take them with us. So, I'm going to give you the pointers on making this card for Stamps the Mail Club Kit, which was designed by Stampin' Up! for on stage back in November when we got an early uh, view at this occasions catalog. So if you would like more information about being a demonstrator and joining my Love and Stamp Fools demonstrator team, I would be happy to help you with that. And if you want more information on this card, let's go and I will give you some tips. So let's get stamping. So set our directions aside and pull out our supplies here. And let me um, show you the layer here that is the most beautiful. I absolutely adore this. Um, it was created with a needlepoint elements framelits, so this die right here doesn't actually cut. It just leaves these little pokey holes and is just a wonderful, wonderful way to accent a card layer. So I'm going to start off um, with my Whisper White here. So with my folded cardstock, I have my two stamps mounted on here, and I'm going to go ahead and ink them in um, Blushing Bride, and I'm going to stamp once on my card, sort of towards the middle, and then I'm going to ink them again and move them just sort of down into the left, or down into the right, doesn't really matter, and stamp in the spaces. See how that sort of gives us that double line effect? And then I'm going to repeat that down here at the bottom. I'm going to do the first one right against the edge so that I know sort of how much space I have to work with, and then I'll move my next one up. Okay, so now we have a really nicely framed card layer, and on this is going to go this piece of the gorgeous Needlepoint Designer Series paper. And when we were um, at the Stampin' Up! on stage, the convention, um, we were, well, I have to say I wasn't like super keen on this Needlepoint set necessarily, but when I saw this paper in person, which is a really fun perk of being a demonstrator and going to events, you get to see stuff early, uh, I fell in love. So... It's really pretty. And then this layer is going to go on top. And as a demonstrator, really, Stampin' Up! gives us tons of resources on card ideas and um, how the products work and things like that. And then uh, we also, I have some um, meetings that I do each month and, and share videos and stuff for people on our team because we have demonstrators in our Love and Stampfuls family all over the United States. So kind of fun to share ideas when we're not even together all the time. All right, and then I'm going to take these three little die cut flowers and ink up my stamp here in Blushing Bride again. And I like to stamp these guys upside down so you can look for the little notch here. Place my paper on there and press it down so I get a nice image. And there's our first flower. And then I really only need the other little flower. So I'll go ahead and ink that to make sure we've got lots of ink on there. And go ahead and place that. Press it down. All right. So we have our two flowers. And sending you happiness and love. And this one I'm going to go ahead and ink in Berry Burst. And one of the questions um, that I get for... Uh, people who are thinking about the demonstrator starter kit and the fabulous opportunity on that is do they have to um, have events? And the answer to that is nope. You can be a happy uh, discount shopper <laughs> as a demonstrator. Stampin' Up's perfectly happy for you to do that. And I'm perfectly happy to um, support you in that as, uh, as your upline. So, all right. We're going to go ahead and mount these now. And this guy is going to get a dimensional on the back and then this little one needs a little or dimensional so I will pop this little one on here and this fits right here on the corner of our greeting and I'll pop some dimensionals on the back of our greeting. I love when my cards just have extra dimension and texture uh, just a little extra interest and this one's really nicely designed so I love it. Okay and this I'm going to place down here. Now I feel like um, it needs, it, it's a great card here, but there's always room for embellishments. So a couple things, um, the Artisan Pearls are a fun match and the colors go great with this suite. And I don't know where you might take your pick tool is, but it would be easier to use here. Okay, so sticking that down. And then this needs a little bit of um, thread. And on the original sample, um, the old olive linen thread is there, and that's included with your Stamps and Mail Club kit. But for some reason, I can't find mine. So I'm using the regular linen thread, which is about the same texture, just neutral colored. And 
I've tied a little bow there and then I'm going to use a mini glue dot and when I'm doing bows for these I kind of like to squish up my mini glue dot so that it's um, a little bit like sort of flattened as a cylinder and then I'm going to take that and trim the edge and pop that there in the middle of that flower and that's really a fun way to embellish that. So let me show you um, some of the specials that are set for the um, demonstrator starter kit during celebration. Because during celebration, there is a bonus with the demonstrator starter kit. Of course, you know that you get um, when you when you make purchases. Um, if you order fifty dollars, then you get a free item from the celebration mini catalog. Um, when you host a party or when you place a really large order and earn stamp and rewards yourself, you also earn um, an extra twenty five dollars when your order is two hundred and fifty dollars or more, or your party is two hundred and fifty dollars or more. And then there is this set, which is the the demonstrator starter kit options and so the regular um, starter kit is $99 so the cost of the starter kit hasn't changed but instead of getting $125 worth of product for f in your kit you get $175 worth of product so it's an extra $50 which is huge and even more exciting if you're a bag girl uh, like me then you will love the um, the craft and carry tote and craft and carry tote is available um, for new demonstrators with the starter kit right now, it actually, um, when we ordered them, pre-ordered them as demonstrators, they were $50. Um, but you can get yours for $30, which is really awesome. And let me show you uh, what that would look like with about uh, $175 worth of product in it. So if you loved this, um, this needlepoint kit, then let's look at, oops, let's look at some ideas here. Okay, so it's hard to show in the flat dimension here, but this is the tote, okay? And it has um, the fun little flowers from the Stampin' Up! logo right now. It has pockets on the outside. It has zipper pockets that are designed um, to fit Stampin' Up! supplies. And like, for example, they're perfect for the Stampin' Up! products. So this bag was designed to fit little punches and stuff. So it'd be great for taking your crafting supplies places. There's little rings because there's a big shoulder strap that you you can put on here but let's look at what $175 worth of product might look like so um, I'm gonna pull out here so um, three ink pads that you would use for these projects um, the needle and thread stamp set and then of course um, the set of framelits to go with it so we have some fun things there um, the designer series paper this is the pack that matches the suite and then uh, sorry that was the cardstock pack and then this is the designer series paper that matches all of those needlepoint things so really fun things there and then you probably want those cute little um, buttons that match the needle and thread suite the needlepoint nook suite um, a really awesome addition to any stampers uh, supplies are a pack of note cards and envelopes and they are 20 note cards and 20 envelopes ready to go um, then let's say that you are a dog lover so we would add the bundle of the um, happy tails and the dog stamp set which actually has like the super cute heart in it too I've used that for lots of things not just dog cards and then uh, if you don't have the in colors is a great time to pick up um, the new in colors from this past summer 2018 to 2020 and I love these and then um, the my daughter's favorite stamp set so super trendsetter here she's in high school uh, is flowering desert and this one is a lot of fun and then this is a card that my friend Carla made um, at one of our demonstrator stamp and share meetings that we have videotaped to share from our archive and uh, friend is perfect for it because we just have lots and lots of great demonstrator friends and every stamper who sees this doesn't know that it's from flowering desert and so they wonder how this flower is made and Carla is really clever she just uh, used the cactus here to make a fun flower so lots of fun things that you can do with your uh, $175. This stuff is certainly not the only choice. Anything that's current product is available to put in your starter kit. So feel free to mix and match. Um, you just can't go over $175. And the procedure for getting it ordered is really simple. You just go to my website at lovenstamps.com. You click on the um, link at the top to um, find the Join My Team page. And there are some more details there about 
the starter kit and and any questions you might have lots of um, fact information about you know do I have to have parties do I have to take orders what happens if I um, what happens if I don't want to be a demonstrator anymore or like I quit and then I want to start again later which is perfectly okay by the way um, and if you've been a demonstrator in the past and you don't have um, like a current set of supplies and you think oh I'd really love to update to new colors this is a really great time to do it celebration is uh, hands down the best time of the year so you can order your starter kit directly um, on my website uh, using the links there and uh, I look forward to helping you with uh, whatever questions you might have and then helping you to make the most of your time as a demonstrator and in fact we're doing a big challenge right now there's tons of prizes and so forth um, with my Loven Stamp Falls group it's called the Make It Count Challenge and uh, that's kind of an example of the things I like to do with my group just to kind of keep everybody motivated and excited and um, moving forward and really making the most of uh, what they want to do as a demonstrator whether that's to just purchase their own supplies at a discount, um, whether it's to make a little extra money to pay a bill or two, you know, vacation or piano lessons or whatnot, or um, to build a business. So Stampin' Up! has amazing trips, and there are several demonstrators on our Loven Stampfuls team who've earned several trips. Um, and so, for example, this um, coming summer, Stampin' Up! is paying um, for me to take a trip for two to the Mediterranean, and we get a week-long Greek Isles cruise. So um, really, like, hey, a trip to Rome and a cruise around the Mediterranean, that's a pretty nice perk of, you know, playing with stamps. So um, if you have questions about being a demonstrator and what that means, um, whether you are interested in meeting new friends, learning new techniques, or you are interested in building a business, make sure you just reach out and ask me. I'm happy to talk to you. So thanks so much for your time and for watching, and I um, look forward to sharing more projects with you again soon. Happy stamping!